Good morning, Stephanie Katmerman, the Stock Whisperer, here with today's Daily Dark Pool Whispers for April 14th, 2020. I'm a little late this morning. I'm so sorry. I am teaching my uh, all-day live trading around the Dark Pool event, and so my traders have been helping me map these out, so if they're not good today, it's their fault, all right? I didn't do anything. They did all these mapped out trades for you guys. So we're going to be bullish on the SPY above 280. Here are our targets. We're going to be bearish below 277.99. We are approaching the VWAP. Yeah, that's like a magnet, a big giant golden sun. Yes, right there on my chart. It's this uh, yellow. Yeah, there we go. Yellow magnet right there. Yep, it wants to hit it. Okay, let's go to the E minis. Eman is bullish above 2806. We are right there, right there this second. We've talked about this in, um, in class today. It's a big level. Bearish below 2760. If we do move down on that, let's go to the Russell. We're going to be bullish above 123.50. We just moved above that. And bear below 122. We're going to do the Qs explosion look where the qqqs pop to today oh look at that gap and go above 120 simple moving average we talked about this in class uh, we are going to be bullish um, above 206.50 we already went above that hit the 120 and 208.75 is our next target this 100 moving average uh, bear only below 204.50 Let's go to the DIA. DIA, we're going to be bullish above 237.50. And we are above that already. Bear below 233.50. So mind you, when we were mapping these out, we were not above these levels at the time. NASDAQ futures, 84.75. We're moving higher. Bearish below 83.80. And let's look at the oil futures. Yeah, so oil futures are really trying to hold on to this S1 level. All right, this is really key. It's trying really hard. We'll see if it can or not. We're going to be um, bullish above 22.55 up here. And we are bearish below 21.75, which we've already gone down and hit quite a few targets. And you can see I put S1 here. That's why we went to S1. If we can't hold on to S1, we'll most likely come down to this Camarilla and then possibly S2. We shall see. We did get a pretty big volume spike that just came in here. So um, 2157 would be a new level to watch. Yeah, bullish above that. I'd say 2160. Okay, oops, I didn't mean to do that. All right, let's go to the gold futures. Gold is rocking. Yeah, we are almost at that 1800 level. Yep, we're going to be bullish today above 1678. Yeah, we've been kind of toying around on that level. Uh, bear below 1749. If we do go below the pivot, then we would turn uh, bearish. But we are bullish above here for the gold. Okay, let me just go to CL. Oops. Oops. So I know some of my traders in the pit, you guys swung Tesla. Who swung that Tesla? I know Otis did. Who else did? Kara. I think Kara did. Sniper. Andrew. Yeah, you guys are killing it this morning. Awesome. Awesome job, everybody. Yeah. All right, so I have new levels for you. Did you take profit? We're at a big level, 700. I'm wondering if they're gonna do a hanging man right here. Yeah, I would definitely take some profit. Absolutely. Look, scaling equals happiness. 705, I did spot a seller there this morning. Let's see if he's still there. Maybe that was you, Otis. Uh-huh, there, yeah, a little signal right there. On the ARCA book, let's see, nope. Yeah, he's there. It's just the biggest guy. So he looks like he split up his order on both books. 
but um, yep. So watch, that's gonna be really key at 705. Bearish below 695, and again, that's a retracement, possible gap fill trade. Whenever we're far away, watch the 15 exponential moving average when it opens. All right, after 15 minutes, if it could stay above that, that is key. All right, so let's go to the next one, AMD. Yeah, we gotta hurry up with this, AMD. Bullish above 52.50 and bearish below 51.40 for AMD. We're going to go to Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo had earnings. I have no idea what they were, if they're good, if they're bad, what the future's going to be like. But I do know that I'm bullish above 33 and I'm bearish below 30.50. Okay, that's pretty much um going here's our up trade and here is our down trade this is a no trading zone for me let's see how it closes today it's always the best i like to swing these things but we do have bank earnings tomorrow so they could still move the best is probably to wait till tomorrow night and then go in whatever direction it goes in bank of america good day trade today above 25 we're bullish just don't swing it into earnings tomorrow, and the stock is much better than the options. Um, bearish below 23.80 for BAC. I'm just going to put that right here. Uh, JP Morgan had earnings too, kind of doing nothing. Uh, however, we'll see what happens. Bullish above 102, bearish below 97.50. XLF, the financial ETF, might start to move. We're at the top of this trend line. Look at that, pushing. Yep, is it going to uh, forge higher or is it going to end up coming down to the bottom of this wedge? That is the question. So bullish above 23.20 and bearish below 22.50 for XLF. And let's go to USO. We are in between massive prints, you guys. We had massive prints, 4 million at 485. We're below that, but we are still above 448. So they could be playing some old fashioned print pong with us. Yeah, so watch the 470 level. Yep, if we break below that, that's bearish. Um, bullish above 506 for a retracement trade to 520. Delta. Delta is just hanging out here. <laughs> Where is it going to go? Yeah, it looks definitely like a, could be a frying pan bottom scenario with a tremendous amount of volume right now. So we're going to be bullish though above 24.50. Obviously we have to break above these moving averages. 26 is really key, but we do have a little trade going up to it of today and bearish below 23.50 for Delta, and then let's move on to GDX. We're gonna be bullish above 31.50, yep, and bear below 30.50 for a retracement. We could get a little bit of a move back down or a forge, oops, a forge, oops, I didn't mean to do that, a forge ahead there. We shall see, there you have it, those are your whispers. For April 14th, 2020. Until next time, happy trading, everybody.